been a while since I've uh, done a overview of my stats, and a few people have asked for it, and somebody just today was asking to see titles. So that's an easy enough thing to do. I'm not sure exactly what you want to see as far as the titles, but I'll just click on each one. You can see what the attributes are. Now I had originally thought from the Chinese server that titles were also upgradable. I'm not sure if maybe that comes in later or maybe I just misread something. As you can see the titles don't give huge stats but when you get a lot of titles they do add, add up. I believe I got I gained about 7000 BR with all the stats Okay here's what it looks like total This is how far I am so far on Sky Trail Level four four. I haven't actually tried it in a few weeks. I usually don't bother unless I'm pretty definite I can beat it since there's no real reward for me at this point for beating it. So here's my clothing right now. all fully upgraded level 80 gear slowly but surely working on these refinements you only get a couple of the refinement crystals a day so it's taking me a while and I refuse to spend money on that I think that's stupid these people that have level 10 all level 10 refinements huge waste of money but to each his own still slowly but surely working on clothes as you can see from here and from all of them that I have in my inventory This is what the new astrals look like.
Now, some people may not have all of these unlocked yet, and I believe I've figured out why um, some people only have three, some people have four. It has to do with these new levels here. Let me ex actually go into that and explain that a little bit. Here's my... All this stuff. Dragon Soul. Okay, but if you go look at your profile and look under class, it gives you this this title, Level 9 Imperial Dragon Ranger for myself. Now, Ranger just means Archer, um, and Dragon is the ty type of um, levels uh, class they are. It's that first word that really makes a difference, that Imperial. If you go for the help, this is really confusing how it's worded. But basically, as far as I can tell, each one of these is a level, as it says. So you may be, uh, for example, honorary dragon, either swordsman if you're a knight, ranger for archer, warlock for mage. When you get um, more XP, you may be a, it may say, level 5 honorary or level 6 honorary. That's because each of these levels is broken into 10 more levels. So at some point you'll be level 10 honorary dragon and then it will once you level up again it will go to level 1 imperial dragon. So right now I'm level 9 imperial dragon a couple more levels and I'll go up to sacred dragon. You can see from the XP how much it costs. New skills, I did a video on that already. But these are what my skill bars look like. All these new skills are useless. I might just reassign my points and put them into something useful up here. Now, some people have asked me about the uh, these stars, you know, leveling up your, your mounts. Does it matter which one you pick, whether it's a plus 10 horse, a plus 50, uh, um, not horse mount, a plus 10 mount or a plus 50 mount? No matter what star you do, it's going to give you plus 10 on any mount. So there's no reason to try leveling up one entire mount before working on the other ones. For your first star, for all of them, it's going to cost you 50 blessings. And then for your second one, it goes up to 100. So there's no reason for me right now to, you know, work on getting the second star for this one because it's just another plus 10. Whereas if I just go for 50 blessings on one that doesn't have any stars on it, that will get me the same plus 10 and save myself a lot of hoofs. So the best thing to do is level each of these one star at a time. Here's all the mounts I've got so far.
I like that Casanova mount, but Magic Pot's a big waste of money, too, and I won't put money into that thing. But it is a cool-looking mount. Some of you saw from my whips event yesterday, I've got that capped. Got my armor capped. Getting somewhat close on this, on endurance. to spend some Daru because I was getting capped on it so I upgraded my Warlocks to level 80 and my Knights to level 80 just to burn so but yeah I've got 1.8 billion Daru waiting for those new troops to come out it's my enlightenment fishing level. Jewel hunt level. My sylphs. Here's what our Sylph Arena looks like right now. As far as who I contend with. Gonna have to knock him down later. The new Dual Arena. Hopefully Battleground is working today and I can make a video of that for you guys. And if that's working, then hopefully a few other people on the server can unlock Dragon Invasion so I can make a video of that as well. I think that's everything. Okay, well, thanks for joining me. Um, as always, if there's something specific you want to see, let me know. I will be recording Battleground and Group Arena if they're working again. And I will do Dragon Invasion once I actually have a full team that is available to do it. As you can see on... I'll show you on my server... We've only got three of us that have unlocked it so far. It's 
so I'm sure I forgot something. I always do, and I'm sure one of you guys will remind me. Just let me know.